what's up guys welcome back to the channel okay today is the second official QFA it's been like a week since the first one so I want to keep like this week apart thing if you guys think it's too soon maybe I should do every other week let me know down in the comment section and while you're doing that you know you might as well just subscribe to the most lit channel on YouTube and also hit that thumbs up button and click that notification button so you keep up to date with whenever I post I'm posting a lot more in my last vlog I got tickets to the ace family event I can't tell I can't it's this order confirmation order confirmation is that me I got it yeah confirmation number I want to talk about that a little bit later in the video so if you have not yet checked that out make sure you go check that out the link will be down in the description okay so last time I didn't read your names uh, I thought it would speed it up so I am gonna go back to reading the names I'll just read faster do shorter answers I apologize if I pronounce your name wrong right don't blame me it's hard there's no pronunciation correction on YouTube Oop. Emma Mayville asks are you a fan slash friend of the ace family I am a fan. I don't know if I could consider myself a friend of theirs because I've only met them once. Linda the 1111 asks, how do you get your subs? I suck and don't have any. Well, honestly, most of my subs came from the Ace Family, so thank you guys for doing that. But how you can build subs is just constantly, po like consistently posting, making good quality videos. WW Bailey asks, what is your dream job? Being a YouTuber. Lysandra Plant asks, are you still in school? If the answer is yes, then what grade? I am in community college, so I graduated high school last year and now I'm in community. Kahija Madid, so I pronounced that name so wrong, I'm sorry, asks, will you meet the Ace Family soon? I don't know, but I hope I can. Gerardo7354 asks, how do you gain self confidence? Honestly, Gerardo, it's just believing in yourself no matter what. Um, Something that I did when I was younger to help is I wrote down a list of positive affirmations like, you know, I am great, I am the best, I love myself, just all these things. You know, if you like sports, I am the best football player ever, I can catch the ball better than anyone else, I am the best person in the world, whatever. Even if you don't believe it at this moment, write it down on a piece of paper. Currently I have positive affirmations written on the mirror of my room and every morning and I, I read them. So write them down on a piece of paper and read it to yourself out loud, not in your head, out loud, not whispering either, you know, actually like talking two to three times a day and you'll quickly see how confident, how much confidence you gain. Other than that, it's just slowly developing the mentality of really not caring what people think because that's what drives people back and hides them away from what they want to do. So just not necessarily being like, oh, you know, I don't care what you say, but it's just like I can do what I want to do because I want to do it and I'm not going to let, you know, average Joe over there hold me back from what I love to do. So let me know if any of this helps Gerardo. I would love to get to know if my advice helps and I also saw that you are going to the ace family event so I hope to see you there Kenzie Grace has a few questions for us she asks what is your favorite ice cream flavor what is your favorite state my favorite ice cream flavor is chocolate I'm pretty plain and my favorite state is California where I live Bayonet Sol Soliano sorry for the mispronunciation asks in the future would you like to marry your girlfriend I would but you guys are gonna have to stay tuned for that one Angelica Mold Tola asks, have you thought of any fan names yet and do you have a celebrity you look up to? I have thought of fan names. I've looked at every single fan name that you guys have submitted and I've read them. I like some, I don't like others, but I'm going to keep that a secret and a surprise until I see a lot. I want five fan names that I look at and I'm like, wow, I really like those ones and then I'll tell you guys and you guys will vote on those five. But I don't want to rush into anything yet, right? I want to take things slow and I want to build like the strongest fan base on YouTube. But the fan name will come, and when it does, it will be perfect. And who, what celebrity do I look up to? I don't really look up to any celebrity because I aspire to be like myself and make myself better. Lovely Aureles asks, Can you do a QFA with your mom and your girlfriend who knows me better, please? That's a great idea, and you'll have to wait for that because it is in the works. Kiana Lichter asks, Do you like me? I don't know, do I like you? Eat Cookie Monster asks, what is the game show about? All right, so I don't want to reveal too much of the game show, but you guys need to go follow Product Watch Co. on Instagram and stay tuned for that game show. When it goes live, you have a chance to win products. But basically, we're going to show you a product. You're going to guess the price. If you win the price, you get the prize. So make sure you definitely go check that out. XX Michelle XX asks, what's your favorite theme park and ride? My favorite theme park is Six Flags Magic Mountain, which is the Six Flags near me. And my favorite ride there is probably X2. If you guys have been to Magic Mountain and Valencia, let me know down in the comment section. Bailey Pope asks, how did your first time go? 
I don't really know what you mean by first time. I have an idea, but I don't want to answer it with the wrong idea. So comment down in my next video and let me know what you meant, and then I'll try to answer it. Death Von Solo asks, who is your favorite Avenger? Mine is Spider-Man. He's so cool. Spider-Man is really cool, but my favorite MCU Avenger, at least, which is the, the cinematic Marvel movies, is Thor. The Three Dancing Stars asks, have you ever smashed a fan? Uh, no, I have not smashed a fan. Liz Wolf Z asks, what made you do YouTube and what was your inspiration? Um, what made me do YouTube is just the fact that I love to create content and create videos and edit them that can entertain people. And I saw YouTube as the perfect outlet in order to do that. Um, and what was my inspiration? Just the fact that I love to do it and the only way to really get it out there was YouTube. Melina Martinez asks, how old are you and when will you do your first meet and greet? Uh, I'm 19 and when I'll do my first meet and greet I have no idea I don't know how many of you actually live near me so if you live in the LA area or close to the LA area make sure you comment it down in the comment section so I can get a good idea I want to build the fan base a little bit more before I do a meet and greet just so it can be like a really cool big meet and greet um, I'm not sure but I definitely I'll get it rolling and I'll get a, an area ready that's closest to everybody I don't want to make people drive hours and hours um, but just stay tuned for that, Melina, and I will let you know once I have it all figured out. Chica Chu asks, what's your favorite thing about being a YouTuber? The fact that I can create videos and content and do things that I love to do and post it on YouTube and you guys watch it and like it. That's probably like the best feeling about YouTube is knowing that you can do what you love to do and it's entertaining people and making them smile and them laugh. Catherine Portillo asks, multiple questions. Have you ever been in trouble with the cops? If you can travel to any place in the world, where would that be, Yanny or Laurel? I've never been in trouble with the cops. I've been to multiple places around the world, so I wanna go to Greece next, just because I wanna see all the ancient Greek stuff before it all falls apart, and I hear Yanny. Anyone who hears Laurel is lying to you. It's, it's Yanny, trust me. Jamie4444 asks, did you see a difference in your skin after the face mask? Right after the face mask, I didn't, but the next day I kind of had to, had like a little, not rash, but irritation, like right here. I think I still have it. Like, it's there. I definitely got more acne, like right here, because of the face mask. Esther Ed here asks, What are your bad habits? I have a couple bad habits, but probably my worst habit is procrastinating. I always procrastinate on everything. Ratia Torgua Toruga asks, Were you scared to start being a YouTuber, and why did you choose to be a YouTuber? I wasn't scared to start, I was just I was more nervous that I would put all this hard work and time and effort into it and nobody would see my videos. Bishro Ali asks, how much do you want your channel to grow? Honestly, I want to be one of the biggest YouTubers on YouTube. Emma Paz asks, what advice would you give to a YouTuber? I'm trying to get some subscribers, I just don't know how, please. Make videos that you love to do, don't do anything that you think people wanna see, do what you wanna do and what makes you happy. Film everything you can. If you have the mentality of, oh, this is gonna be boring. Film it anyways. You can always cut it out later, but it's better to have it filmed than not. Be consistent. Don't post like on a Monday and then on a Thursday and then next week on a Wednesday and a Friday and then like wait a two weeks and then Sunday. Like try to develop some kind of schedule so your subscribers and viewers know when to come back and watch. Gabby Ortega asks, do you and your girlfriend live together? We currently do not live together, but we see each other all the time, so it, we, it's like we kind of do, but we don't, because we sleep at separate houses. Random Videos asks, what is your end of the year goal for this channel? My end of the year goal for this channel is by the end of the year, 2018, to have 100,000 subscribers. So hopefully I can get there. Hopefully I can get there sooner and then like my end of the year goal can change. But as of right now, on December 31st, 2018, I want to have 100,000 subscribers. Hector Liddy asks, when do you think you will hit a mil? I have no idea, Hector. Honestly, I'm just focused on getting to 22,000 right now and then 23 and hopefully by 100,000 at the end of the year. Liz Bet. Ellisdale asks, are you excited to see the Ace Family and other YouTubers? I'm assuming you're talking about the basketball event. Yes, it will be awesome to see them again. I don't know if I'll be able to talk to them again just because they're gonna have a lot of stuff going on that day, but it'll be cool to see other YouTubers in real life like Wolfie, Rice Gum, Tanner Fox, all these big name YouTubers. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to see other like fans like myself doing their YouTube videos because that'll be cool. Gabriela Sucadio asks, 
a lot of questions. Have you ever been to prom? Yes. Do you have any pets? No. Are you doing giveaways in the future? I plan on it. What's your favorite snack? Goobers. Are you a morning or a night person? Both. Who's your favorite celebrity and why? Henry Cavill, because he's Superman. What's your favorite ice cream? Chocolate. Do you prefer Takis or Cheetos? Takis. Who you ever do a collab with? YouTube. Um, I don't, I don't know what that question is. Would I ever do a collab with someone on YouTube? I would love to and I want to. Who, what's your favorite cartoon? Avatar The Last Airbender. Have you ever played Roblox? Yes, but years ago. Would you like to have a meet and greet with your fans? I would love to, I just don't know when. Jake Heat has two questions. Do you like Logan Paul after what he did in the situation? Are you going to make merchandise? If so, what price? Yes, I still like Logan Paul after that whole Japan uh, thing back in January. I did lose a ton of respect for him just because he made that decision, but I believe that people can redeem themselves and you shouldn't just oust someone after one mess up like that. So he's, in my opinion, he's doing better. Um, I still like him, I just don't have the same respect level for him, but I'm glad that he's aspiring to be better. If I could sell merchandise, which is way off in the future, I would make it affordable for everyone so everyone can have merchandise and be part of the family. Okay guys, uh, that's the end of the questions, but there's just one thing I want to address just because when I read it, it kind of bothered me. So I'm not going to say the name, although it, if you guys tried hard enough, you could probably find who said this. Um, but the person said, want to know what's sad? You were never an Ace Family member. You didn't know who they were at the grocery store. Then all of a sudden, since they mentioned you in their video, you act like you love the Ace Family so much. If they never shouted you out, you would have never been doing any of this. Not saying you can't be an Ace Family member, just sad that the only time you ever noticed them was because they somewhat made your channel grow. Fake ASL. Okay, so I just want to address this and say there's a lot of things wrong with that statement. I also have a quote to kind of counteract it. Um, but in here you said that I would never would have been doing any of this if they didn't mention me in the video. That's actually false. For about two months before they shouted me out, I was making videos every other day. You can actually go back and look and see that I was. And I was acting as if I was already had fans because you have to act how you want. You have to practice like you play. So um, yeah, I also, I didn't ask them for a shout out they that came from them and they felt like they wanted to do that and that's part of the why why that's part of the reason why I want to go to this basketball event and support them and be as thankful for them as much as I can because they did so much for me without even realizing it and that came from them also the fact that I didn't know who they were when I talked to them made it more genuine it wasn't just like a fan ran up to them it's like oh my god Austin oh my god Catherine like tell me what you did to be successful it was more just like hey I could tell you guys are youtubers can I have some advice and so they treated it more of just someone asking for advice and someone wanting to know the game and how to be successful instead of just a, a crazy fan trying to like, you know, get their autograph or something. Um, but my quote here, because I know you probably didn't mean to say like I'm not a fan or something, or maybe you did, I, I don't know what you meant, but I saw this quote months ago and it's actually about Star Wars, but it relates to every fan base fandom in the world. It says, all it takes to be a true fan is to like anything Star Wars, even if you dislike other parts. Anything else is gatekeeping. Suggesting someone is more of a true fan than someone else shouldn't be part of the fandom discourse. So just because I haven't been a fan as long as millions of Ace Family fans and I haven't been, I'm not as knowledgeable about them and didn't know them, doesn't mean that I'm not a fan. Ever since they shouted me out, I watch them all the time. My girlfriend does, my mom, my grandma, like we're all Ace Family fans now. And I just, I'm trying to stay, I'm trying to take the extra step in getting tickets and trying to reach out to them just because I want to show them how thankful I am and support them in any way I can because they did something for me, which I had no idea they were going to do. So I'm sorry you feel this way, sir. <laughs> I, I'm sorry you feel this way and I, I'm really sorry if I made you feel this way, but I am an Ace Family member and I'm sorry that I wasn't, I'm sorry that it came off like you know, I, I'm just doing this because they shouted me out and I'm trying to get something out of it. I just want to thank them and support them in any way that I can. Um, some other people were agreeing with this person, so I'm sorry if I offended you guys in any way. If I did, please let me know. I wanna, I wanna make sure that everyone who comes here is happy and welcomed and love what they see. I want to show them how thankful I am for what they did because I didn't ask for a shout out. They just did it from the bottom of their heart. So from the bottom of my heart, I want to be able to thank them and show them how much it means to me and hopefully I can
take that and give it to you guys somehow because I know there's tons of you who like wanted to go to that basketball game who can't, who want to meet the Ace family, who don't have opportunity to, or want them to recognize you and it's really hard for them to do that. So I want to somehow kind of be a bridge between you guys and them. So that's also one of the reasons I'm trying to get in contact with them or somehow reach out to them just so I can take what they give me and give it to you guys and vice versa. So I'm sorry that I made you guys feel that way and if I did, let me know down in the comment section. If you think I'm talking nonsense, also let me know down in the comment section. Also, I'm gonna leave a comment on this video and reply to that if you have questions for the next QFA. I think for the next QFA, I'm gonna have my mom and my girlfriend on here with me and they'll answer the questions and you know, that it'll be something to spice it up a little bit. There's a lot of stuff in the works right now. Remember, if you have not seen that last video is when I get the tickets, I'm going, I'm gonna vlog, I'm gonna put it out there so all of you who don't get to go, hopefully you get to live that vlog through my eyes. We'll see. Stay tuned guys, there is a vlog coming out. There is more vlogs coming out and they're gonna be really good, really funny, stay tuned for that. So if you're not yet subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the Most Lit channel on YouTube. I know my dancing skills aren't good, but if you subscribe, they might get better. And also hit that like button and that bell button so you keep up to date with whenever I post. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Peace.